Alright, hey guys, welcome to Fire Alarms and Such, and today we're going to be doing an overview of how to actually do a two-wire audible silence on an SK5208 fire alarm control panel. If you remember from all my previous videos where everyone's like, it has a sync protocol built into it, shouldn't it do audible silence? And I'm like, ha ha ha, no it doesn't. I have just been really blatantly wrong, feeding you lies and being incorrect. Because... It's stupid how to make it do it, but it works. So you have to actually do the opposite of what you'd think to do to make a NAC silence. So first off, you're going to want to run, you know, your horn strobes make them all the same brand that follows one of the sync protocols on the panel. So in this case, I'm using all WeLock products for an upcoming system test. And I have been struggling for days now, trying to get my DSM to work with this panel and for some reason it just hasn't it just bypassed the dsm for some reason i still have no clue why dsm works on any other panel but it just kept on bypassing this one and i couldn't get the horn strobes to sync or do audible silence so in desperation of anything i'm trying anything at this point and i have my nax running through um just in this setup i have them all going through nac 4 on my panel so what I wanted to try was, okay, we're going to go into programming and we're going to check and see what number four is on. And for the record, for anything with the modules having trouble on, everything was on constant output. So I was like, okay, we'll just put on Wheelock Sync. And then the second thing, oops, so then the second thing I went to try was under NAC options. I was like, okay, let's see what's silencing. So my silence snacks are one and two. Those are what normally silence, you know, it torn, turns the horns off. So I'm like, okay, let's try it with four to see if it will maybe silence on Wheelock Sync for some reason. And if you do that, oops, yeah. So if you do that, panel will restart. So we have it, yes, to silence a knack on Wheelock Sync. It will do what it's always done for me. It will run and everything will be all nice and synced up, but then as soon as I hit silence on the panel, it just turns everything off. And I'm like, that's just really stupid, but I guess that makes sense because, you know, it's not a super fancy panel or anything, but... So everything goes in sync. And then as soon as you hit silence, it turns off everything. So I'm like, okay, that's no good. So then I go back into my programming and I go back to my NAC silence options, which is under NAC options, which is keystroke four. And I go under, I'm like, okay, let's take it off silence then and let's just see what happens. So I tell it to save and I have it restart and everything. And I'm thinking, okay, this probably isn't going to do anything. So I'm letting the panel restart. Now again, what I'm setting this up as is my NAC is on Wheelock Sync, but it is not set as a silent snack, which you would think, you know, that doesn't make sense. And I'm like, okay, let's see what happens. I put an alarm in, everything goes, and I silence, and look at that. The strobes turn, the strobes stay on, and the horns turn off. My exact words, when this first happened, I screamed out, oh my god, am I stupid. Um, so, again, to get a knack to silence over two wires on an SK5208 without a separate module, you have to first set the NAC coding output to whatever manufacturer you have, System Sensor, Wheelock, and Zico, Faraday, Gentex, what have you. And then, under your NAC options, you have to set it as a non-silenceable NAC, which seems so backwards, and I couldn't find anything about that in the manual. So if you want to silence a NAC over two wires, you have to set it as a non-silenceable. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I don't know what to pull. Um, that's not going to do anything, that's not going to do anything. I don't know. Have a wonderful day.